Welcome back. We continue our news review this morning with MPs Yusuf Hassan, Mudomi Njuki and Jogu Barua from uh, Kamukunji, Chuke Gabangombe and Gishugu respectively. And also we do have Bana Jonathan Worker, Deputy Governor of Nairobi. Now we want to look at the headline on the front page of the Daily Nation. Next says Joho school papers are forgeries. Invalidation of Form 4 is outslip jeopardizes Mombasa Firebrand's career. Now the main question and probably this is what uh, everyone will be asking. Oh, we've seen uh, uh, Bona Governor Joho in the news of late, uh, taking on uh, the president directly in uh, some not so nice way, and the president actually firing back and even saying in one of those instances that who you to Now the question is, such a headline, will it not be interpreted to mean that yes, the system is fighting back? You took on the president, now you have to pay. But I suppose no. I think uh, these are national institutions. These institutions have been set. Uh, constitutionally they have uh, certain powers and uh, the fact that uh, the president or a politician is saying something about uh, another person uh, does not necessarily mean that those institutions can be bent uh, and abused by anyone in, uh, given the fact that the Kenya National Examination Council is an independent body uh, and what they are verifying is whether mm. uh, a particular candidate or a particular politician You're saying it in a, such a matter of fact way that they, they cannot uh, Are we so sure that they cannot uh, be used by anyone? Uh, that none of these institutions can be manipulated in any way because they are also run by individuals They should not, they should not They should not, they should not But uh, yeah. are we saying they cannot? Mm. You know like someone put it before the qualification of being a um, governor is not uh, KCSC, it's uh, definitely a, a degree. Mm -hmm. But the big question is, what was the process of getting that degree? Mm -hmm. Because uh, the institutions that were Joy is alleged to have gotten the degree should be having authentic papers to show this is how we admitted Joy into the university. Because it is possible you can fail in Form 4, all right, and uh, definitely when you get to the university, due to maybe the experience you've gone through and what you're, you're specializing in, you can definitely maybe be a good student at university. But our laws are very clear that you need to have a pre-qualification first. That is why we usually have uh, the bridging courses. If you failed in a certain subject and you want to do a course that has that, that, uh, su that subject as a mandatory, you go through a bridging course. How did then Joe get to do Take have a university degree without passing KCSE. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the big question. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether it is possible to manipulate the universities, this is a total proof mm -hmm. that if it is really it was admitted that he has a genuine degree, then the universities where he went through definitely did not have due, due, due gel diligence when they admitted him. And that is a big question. Whether we'll see John the ballot people or not. It will not be because of the university papers. Mm -hmm. it, is be, it will be because of integrity issue. Mm -hmm. Because if he lied, if he forged a document that is merely uh, a, a cannabis qualification, then he can forge anything else within his you, powers you as a uh, governor. As far as it, uh, academic papers are concerned, this cannot lock him out? Well, it, he has a degree. Mm -hmm. as, as far as I remember, even when we were asked to give our papers uh, <laughs> for the nominations, no one asked me for K my KCP paper, mm -hmm. you know? Because for me to pass my K KCSE, I need to pass KC K I mean, uh, the one for the primary yes. school, right? No one asked for that. The one for the form four, no one asked for that. Mm -hmm. I, w I was only asked for the degree, and Joe was so given you that. Mean Neck did not go back to dig. They never went back to KCSE dig and find. That's, that's the question. What are doing now for Joho, mm -hmm. which is now, uh, and that's where the questions come in, <coughs> because uh, yes, we've seen KRA in the last uh, last week uh, freezing. Uh, writing uh, to banks <coughs> uh, those accounts. Now we're seeing Neck digging in to go find uh, his KCSE and check the uh, KCSE qualifications and check the authenticity. Uh, will it not uh, just be interpreted by Common Monenchi mm -hmm. that this is a president fighting back? I think uh, first of all I'd like to address the issue of Modomi Juki. Is that we, we are talking about governor and uh, this is not about Joho is about everybody. From the member of parliament and other offices, you may not require a degree. But if you present a fake form for certificate, mm. 
that is criminal in itself mm -hmm. is an issue of lack of integrity but uh, when Njuki says uh, the, the form for certificate is not a requirement when you are presenting a for form. him he's running for governor mm -hmm. so what they can do is present a degree I hope and I'm sure he did mm -hmm. they can work backwards because he's good in Kenya mm -hmm. if they know the institutions if they, they have good ways of knowing the institution with which he went through mm -hmm. and they can verify that the other issue I want to put across here this uh, issue of neck and degrees is not about Joho what is happening is that Joho, and uh, let me say this, as a, as a journalist, I know what comes in the papers is based on the news values. Mm -hmm. One of the news values in media is prominence. Mm -hmm. Joho jo happens to be a prominent person. Mm -hmm. Joho happens to have rubbed feathers with another person, prominent person called Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. That's why the interest is coming. Yes. So what I'm saying is Joho now, instead of a crying uh, a victim, let him now face the truth. Mm -hmm. So the Kenyans want to know the truth about Joho because he has challenged the president. Mm -hmm. He has challenged the institutions. Let him not go again into his political parties. So for the party to say that I will support Joho, he go to court. There is nothing to go to court here about Mr. Joho. Mm -hmm. It's a question of if you've got a genuine degree or not. Yes. If you have a genuine degree, Mr. Joho, nobody is going to touch you. If you don't have one, please step aside and the, 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 the other things will follow. Yes. So integrity issue I comes again here. We don't want in this country to have people in offices, either members of parliament, deputy governors or governors, who are behaving like rogues. We want people who can behave as role models to the people they are guiding. This is another embarrassment Kenyans are fighting because some people are just getting money, making a lot of money, and they are seeking refuge in political offices. Mm -hmm. So it has not become an equal opportunity for all Kenyans, but the state and the nation that we should create is the one that gives everybody, poor or rich, an equal opportunity. Yes. Uh, Mweke, do you see any way out for Governor Ali Hassan Joho this time around? KRA is already on his case. Now you're seeing Neck digging deeper and looking for KCSC and KCP certificates? Uh, I, I believe in the rule of law. Yes. Uh, and everybody must, the, the law must be applied fairly to everybody. Mm. But the timing of this Joho thing is what is going to make people uh, wonder because indeed the president is on camera uh, saying that he's going to teach Joha a lesson mm -hmm. then all of a sudden he's uh, arrested he and put in his office he can't leave can't move around a county that he's elected to go around he can't do that freely all of a sudden he has KRA issues they're closing his accounts all of a sudden now they're going into his form 4 mm -hmm. uh, I smell a rat, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know what's going on under mm -hmm. the table, mm -hmm. but I smell a rat, the timing is just off. Yes. You see, this same neck, if neck indeed said that Joho's school papers are forgeries, that entire board and management of neck should resign, mm -hmm. because how did they not notice that last time? Yes. Joho is a governor of Mombasa, the same neck cleared him to run mm -hmm. for whatever. Mm -hmm. So how come five years ago he was okay and five years later mm -hmm. he's not? Those are some of especially the questions. Especially now that he's uh, that's had a thief. Of yeah, the, especially the, now the that he's had a thief of, of, uh, with, with the president. So we, we need to see what's wrong. But you know, Fred, let me just put a twist to this. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see how we can be debating as a nation whether somebody has a degree mm -hmm. or has gone to school or not. I mean, if you ask me if I went to Form 4, I can show you pictures with my class of Nairobi school. Mm -hmm. I can show you my rugby team where I was there. I can show you my exercise books where I used to write my notes. I mean, university is a four-year process. Mm -hmm. Every three months you do continuous assessment mm -hmm. tests, you write term papers, you, you have materials. I probably have a, <coughs> this, a box this big of all my materials and my tests to show that I went to school. I mean, so how can it really be a debate to know if somebody went to school or, or not? It should be so easy but to tell. Okay, even away from, I mean, uh, from Bonajoho, mm. surely, uh, because it's said in some quarters that even the current sitting MPs, if this was to be followed through, quite a number of uh, them would suffer. Uh, a good percentage of yeah. current members would uh, actually Absolutely. not through on the other side. Yeah, that is true, because uh, we have been lax mm -hmm. in enforcing these rules, and that's why people are questioning um, the purpose, the intention uh, of it. Uh, but I think we should not personalize it, we should not ethnicize or politicize the processes that we've put into place. We must respect our national institutions. IEBC mm -hmm. should be respected, the Kenya National Education Council should be respected, 
the Kenya Revenue Authority should be respected. They should do their job according to the law mm -hmm. uh, without fear uh, uh, or favor to anyone. It is only when our institutions fail and are not able to deliver uh, or they are used, uh, abused, uh, that then we have a public uh, uh, outcry mm -hmm. uh, and uh, disillusionment or uh, lack of respect for those institutions. So at the moment we should not, uh, uh, we should not if uh, any of the, the governors or any of the governor candidates or aspirants uh, have issues with those uh, institutions, uh, they should uh, present themselves uh, they should come out and uh, show that they really have uh, certificates, they have diplomas mm -hmm. and the other requirement, but they should not cry uh, foul or, uh, or, or present themselves as victims when in fact uh, they have seen to be cheating mm -hmm. uh, themselves, uh, their voters uh, and the country and, and breaking our laws. Yeah, and uh, the consequences also is that if any uh, public office, someone who's been elected has cheated and has been uh, uh, a member of parliament or a governor or a senator and has been found out. Uh, I think that we should not wait for 8th of August. Yes. Those officials should be removed immediately mm -hmm. uh, from office. Okay. And uh, Odiema said uh, uh, the party will defend your uh, what can may. But do you, do you think the party should consider uh, having uh, just a fallback plan for Mombasa probably uh, in case uh, Bonajoho doesn't go through this? No, because well, that's the only candidate uh, for, for, for the ODM uh, <laughs> ticket uh, in Mombasa. You know, this, this outfit called NASA, uh, not for any particular uh, political reason, uh, th there is a twist to it. In that uh, one time you'll see them in one uniform in Madare, white. Mm -hmm. Then the following day, they will... Uh, divide themselves into other different colors. The following day they will be in Mombasa's ODM and then they will have a different story from the ones in Kajedo, in uh, Waipa, mm -hmm. uh, saying a different thing. I would like to know whether, <coughs> whether this is a collective position. No, this is an ODM. A collective position it is of NASA that they're going to defend Joho. Of course. When, uh, when they're busy, because when they're defending, when they're busy defending uh, Joho yes. in Mombasa, mm -hmm. why Pai celebrate, you know, mm -hmm. and saying we want this guy out so that they can be able to field Hassan Omar as a candidate for governor in Mombasa. They must be aware of that. Mm -hmm. But having said that, I want to come back to the issue of uh, Joho's who's and uh, being associated with, with, uh, with Uhuru Kenyatta. And I would like to absolutely exonerate Honorable Uru Kenyatta from this thing mm -hmm. of uh, the woes of Joho because uh, uh, Fred b before you say being uh, the, the host here we hardly knew of your existence mm -hmm. today if you want to know the number of uh, people who Google and want to find out more about you because now you're a prominent person mm -hmm. we want to know this, this young man who is uh, doing uh, news here I mean, um, what are his qualifications? What, what does he do for a living mm -hmm. apart from just being this? So, Joe has elevated himself to a position where people are curious. They want to find out this man who is challenging the presidency, this man who is positions himself as above everything in Kenya, who is he? Mm -hmm. So, don't be surprised that uh, what was missed out by uh, maybe a person who was not very, very keen at neck has been pinned, been pointed out by somebody else. Uh, two wrongs don't make a right. If somebody missed out to point that George did not have a certificate and somebody has found it now, let him not blame it on the president. Mm -hmm. It was going to do to happen anyway. We see the days of a thief are 40. Whether you're caught today, whether you're caught 10 years later, if you're caught, you're caught and you should face the knife. Yes, okay. yes. I, I want to make a comment uh, on that, uh, 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 Fred. Uh, I, I want to say that, uh, first of all, uh, what uh, somebody is saying that, one of us has said that uh, Joho was cleared five years ago, is during the last general election. Uh, four years ago. That time we did not have a, we did not have a chapter six working group. Mm -hmm. So but chapter six was the constitution. Chapter six was there. Existed. It existed. Yes. But the working group was not there and like this clearance, I don't think it was going through neck for someone to be nominated. Mm -hmm. It was actually like a declaration for every candidate to say I have a degree, I have a certificate and it was taken as mm -hmm. uh, no, a Let me say, let me finish. But for the governor position is where which were being verified mm -hmm. because the degree was a mandatory requirement, mm -hmm. like Gajodo for example. Mm -hmm. For these other positions, no. For position of MPs and MCAs and senators, women rep and so forth, I don't see why somebody should cheat because there's no requirement. If you're form four, just give your form four certificate. Mm -hmm. If you're class seven, just give it and be honest the Kenyans and you'll be you'll be you'll be given whatever is due to you. 
The other issue about Joho, I think this issue of Joho, when the, the president doesn't feature in this thing, the president is the father of the nation. The president does just realize that there's something, something which is not adding up mm -hmm. in Joho. Or when something is not adding up, and if a child is errant, some, something has to be done for him or her to be put back to track. Mm -hmm. And that is why, because of this inconsistent character, inconsistent behavior, the, some people have tend to go to, to, get, to dig deeper, to know who is, to demystify this Joho, who is, has been occupying an artificial so uh, position within the society. As Modomi has said, people are goring about you. Go, Joho is not a simple Kenya. Mm -hmm. Joho is a governor of Mombasa, the second biggest town in Kenya, and he, whatever it, he does is of interest. Mm -hmm. Kenyans want to know that when a big man or big woman cheats, justice is done. Mm -hmm. And that is why so much focus has gone to this thing. And that's why I'm asking Joho, please, Bana Joho, don't blame the president on your problems. Yes. Please take the bull bullet and do whatever it is to clear your name. But, but a I'll degree is a degree. You know, the Jubilee leaders here, yes. let me give you free political advice. If you are trying to finish Joho, you are trying to finish him the wrong way. Mm -hmm. The more you attack Joho, the more his profile rises. The more you try and get into Joho's business, the more popular he becomes. So you're just going about it the wrong way. So whoever it is who's trying to interfere with the NASA's business in Mombasa, all you're doing is you're making us stronger and stronger. Wow. And Mwashimu Ajuki, we are one coalition with four parties. And the way we are strong as NASA is because each individual party goes out and strengthens themselves. And I'll give you a very good example here in Nairobi. Yeah? When I go out and I have my wiper meetings, and I could wipe up wiper structures, and I will go and make wiper strong in Nairobi. Governor Kidero doesn't get threatened, because he understands we are a coalition, and if I get stronger, it makes him even more stronger. So we're just building our parties. Mm -hmm. so while ODM was being built in Mombasa, Kalonzo was building uh, in, 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 in Kisi, in Kajaglu Musialia was mm -hmm. building yesterday, but, and mm -hmm. all the strong parties make NASA so strong, and that's where you guys are. But I think, think uh, Wiper uh, no, no, no. is running against ODM in Mombasa. Yes, it is. It, it cannot tell us here and that actually, when, when, when ODM is sinking, Wiper are not celebrating. Yes. They are. No, no, no. no, 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 no we are good people. Not. We are good people. We don't celebrate for other misfortunes. Mm -hmm. It's just a competition. I yes. mean, nationally, isn't Kalonzo competing with Raila? Mm -hmm. Yes, but they are together as brothers and they know at the end of the day one of them will be picked. Yes. I, I think the other issue, that has not, issue, that has, uh, not shift the issue of Joho to part partisan, become partisan. I think here, we, but I'm working, we are discussing about the principle mm -hmm. of integrity. We are not, yes. yeah, I've not even mentioned any political party myself, yes. and today I'm not just about to do it. Yes. But the issue is, we are talking about the principle of integrity. And when it comes to the issue of a political party saying, that you are going to defend Joho against a fake document, surely that puts into question. But how do you know it's fake? Whatever it is, because no, in a minute, no, it, it, it the issue is, you, have, you, have, you, have, you, have, one, you have one who has said that to prove that you have a degree, just have to proceed your papers. Correct. Why doesn't Joho just do it if he has them? And he, he can could, produce it, yeah. Probably he could, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, but uh, why hasn't he done up to now? The headline today has Joho's name on it. Yes. This could apply to any other. Exactly. If at all Neck uh, was to actually do its uh, proper job, uh, probably then they should go dig deep into every aspirant, mm -hmm. KCP and KCP exactly. papers, and going forward that becomes w the way things are done. Yes? Let's now switch gears and talk about uh, Jubilee party politics in Nairobi because we do have uh, the deputy governor here and we do have uh, MP for Kamukunji as well and that's on the standard page, uh, page uh, 9. Now the standard, of course the headache uh, now that you're <coughs> heading uh, towards election. A very uh, big uh, headline there with a photo of President Uhuru Kenyatta uh, with his hand on uh, one, uh, Governor Evans Kidero's shoulder. But the headline reads, Jubilee faces fresh headache of a Sonko Kenneth Wau. Uhuru offers to mediate if leaders invite him to help them uh, reach consensus but will not impose a candidate in city. Now the vicious feud between Nairobi Senator Mike Sonko and former Gatanga MP Peter Kenneth th threatens to derail the Jubilee Party's ambition to capture the Nairobi governorship. Senator Sonko has declared he will only accept a free and fair process, leaving Jubilee strategists guessing his next move after the nominations, which are set for April uh, 13th to 26th. Reports that Sonko may consider running as an independent candidate have left Jubilee strategists scratching their heads as it may split the party's support base, thus denying it the city for a second time. Yes. Now, if Sonko 
is unhappy he is already unhappy uh, he is uh, he already feels uh, sidelined uh, within jubilee if at all he decides to run as an independent if at all he does not take part in the negotiations don't you think that's a problem for jubilee in Nairobi? well first of all i don't think uh uh, Senator Sonko is uh, going to, uh, to leave Jubilee and run as an independent. Uh, what I would like to encourage him, given the fact that he's uh, said consistently that he's uh, the most popular candidate, is to accept the, the structures and the process in which the party has put into place and go through the nomination with his uh, uh, competitor, Peter Kenneth. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, he uh, loses that competition, then he should uh, endorse uh, Peter Kenneth as the uh, as the Jubilee candidate. But I, I find that uh, it's strange that now uh, someone who has consistently said that he is the most favored, the most popular member of Jubilee uh, in Nairobi for the governorship is now um, crying foul and uh, claiming to be victimized. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling that uh, maybe he has uh, calculated his chances uh, against Peter Kennett and has uh, seen that in fact he might not be able to make it at the nomination. But I hope uh, Jubilee as a party, we, we're looking for consensus. I have always said as a member of parliament that uh, uh, Nairobi the best option for us is to keep our Jubilee family in Nairobi together, uh, to have Sonko on board, to have Peter Kenneth on board <coughs> and to go to the elections together mm -hmm. uh, as a united team uh, to win the governorship in Nairobi. Yes. And that is the best option for all of us, including Senator Sanko. But uh, Senator Sonko already feels uh, that he's not been treated very fairly within <coughs> the Jubilee Party. And uh, he, as we said, parties are run by individuals, and there are things that probably within the party structure that made him unhappy. Uh, after that, he declared that he is not going to work with Peter Kenneth. Then what next for Jubilee? You know, as much as we have talked so much about fairness in uh, parties and especially ministerial parties you know the old saying of chama uh, na wenyewe you cannot underestimate it yes. of course parties are not uh, the property of the government there are people behind it yes. and sometimes usually not those individuals who are behind it really that run it it's the small people down there uh, including within and within and outside the party who have their own personal interest mm -hmm. the scenario of people breaking away from mainstream parties and still getting elected has been very common in Kenya. If you go to Kisumu, you'll find a member of parliament who ran away from ODM mm -hmm. and was still elected because they were rigged up somehow. I know uh, people who were uh, in Busia who uh, ran out of the ODM and still got elected on the Jubilee party. Those things are there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if nothing is done about this Sonko issue in Nairobi and Peter Kenneth, I see a scenario where <coughs> Kidero will be coming back. Yes. Unless Jubilee puts their house in order in Nairobi and at least mitigate on those very high temperatures that are there. Because at the moment what we have is um, a standoff where no one is willing to negotiate. Yes. You know, chest thumping. And uh, if we go that route, knowing very well that we are talking about numbers that are not really increasing, they, in any case they're diminishing because you've had a lot of people who have gone to register in rural areas around this yes. time. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed in Nairobi. The numbers are still the same. Um, it, it's a city that has got uh, multi-ethnic communities and uh, in Kenya, of course, whether we die it or not, the politics normally take the, that, that, that route sometimes, especially mm -hmm. based on, on, on the party affiliations. Yes. If we don't do anything about it, then there's going to be a split between the Jubilee votes in Nairobi, <coughs> especially if Sonko breaks out. Okay. And at the moment, we should be having around this table and in Jubilee, what is the solution between Peter Kenneth and Sonko? Instead yes. of just... Uh, and that's the question. What is the solution for Jubilee in Nairobi? I think, uh, uh, before I get the solution, I think I would like to say something here say that uh, the issue of transparent nominations is one of the biggest headaches to both Uhuru Kenyatta and uh, Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that the truth be said in the first place. NASA, I'm not a member of NASA, but I know NASA has a presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. And this presidential candidate is Raila Odinga. So now, there's, 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 let's not keep on beating about the booth saying that they don't have a... They, they have a candidate and the fight is going to be against Uhuru, Uhuru against Raila. If Raida bangles nominations, you face the consequences. Mm -hmm. If Uhuru Kenyatta bang has bangled elections in Jubilee, there will also be consequences. So I think, to my interest, the way I see the body language of these two gentlemen 
is that the right, they would like to have as fair elections as possible. But that having been said, Songo is saying he is not going to settle for anything less than mm -hmm. free and fair nomination. Mm -hmm. Then the president is saying he is willing to mediate, but he is not going to impose a candidate in the city. Mm -hmm. So what it already means is that the president is ready for a face-off between Sonko and Peter Kenneth and any other Jubilee aspirant that may come into place. But the truth, what should be done is what will happen after the nomination mm -hmm. contest. Mm -hmm. If Peter Kenneth, Ken, Kenneth wins, how is Song going to be accommodated in the equation? Mm -hmm. If Sonko wins, mm -hmm. how is Peter Kenneth going to be accommodated? So I want to support my, my friends, Honorable um, Hassan. The position is that <coughs> the best thing you have to do is to make sure that we keep our Jubilee family together. But is it even possible? It is possible because uh, both Peter Kenneth and Sonko are going for free and fair nomination. If they mean it in their heart, let them go for that free and fair nomination. Mm -hmm. Let us then be supervised by foreigners if that's what they want. So the best candidate wins. Mm -hmm. And the, be the second number two, the person who loses, should commit himself to continue being royal to the party. Mm -hmm. If that one does not happen, it means that he, he is not patriotic, he was not honest. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's also an issue of integrity here again. So the, both Peter Kenneth and Sonko, they owe the Jubilee family a major responsibility. Yes, and just before we go for a break of Buona Deputy Governor, of course, uh, uh, recent polls still put Evans Kidero ahead of both uh, Sonko mm, and uh, mm. Peter Kenneth. But if those two combined, it is assumed that uh, that's a big yeah. deal. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know what's going on mm. with, uh, with Jubilee internal politics yeah, in, yeah. In, in Nairobi because we don't pay attention. too much attention to that. <laughs> oh, you uh, don't? Uh, I'm sure <laughs> how, how they're going around their politics should matter to you. <laughs> From the mind. outside, they look very, very confused. Mm. But that's the internal politics, so we don't, we don't dwell on that. Uh, but, you know, if they come together, Sonko came on national TV last Sunday, mm. not yesterday, yeah, but the other one, and mm. said he will never, even so over his mother's grave mm -hmm. and his father's grave, that he should never, ever support Peter Kenneth. So if he supports Peter Kenneth, I need to take this back to the chapter 16 and tell them that this guy has no integrity. He comes and lies that he's going to do something, then he does another thing. So he has no integrity. So he should not even be allowed to run on integrity issues. But that, on a light note, put that, let's put that aside. You know, Fred, we are concerned about how Jubilee is doing their politics here in Nairobi. Very concerned. And really, the other day they were in Dandora, there was lots of violence. Mm. Then they went to Dagoreti South, Mutwini Ward, and you saw Sonko and Dennis Waweru and their people shoot 22 bullets in the air. On Friday, there were bombers of Kenya. Mm -hmm. They fought, they threw tables, they chased each other, and that's concerning myself very much. And I'd like to tell Yusuf Hassam here, actually very seriously, I'd like to send you to your Jubilee crew in Nairobi. The governor and myself are not going to tolerate violence in this city <laughs> anymore. <laughs> because we have kept this city peaceful, <laughs> we have had five years of peace and putting people together in Nairobi, and we are not going to tolerate violence in our city at all. Okay. So Jubilee stop fighting and stop <laughs> violence in the capital city. Okay. <laughs> we won't allow it. Okay, on that note, not when we are sitting on this come back. Uh, when I used to fast and I'm sure you have something to say about Men that. in black also <laughs> voting <laughs> in Monday. The deputy governor says uh, no violence will be entertained in the city. Yeah, yeah, we we'll be back to the <laughs> news review. That should be cut and put in the news bulletin. <laughs>